All right, you have command of the board right now. You select, please. For number one hits of the 70s for 800. Rick Dees and his cast of idiots had a number one hit in 1976 with this foul song. Melissa? What is Disco Duck? And Rick Dees! <laughs> Rick Dees and the cast of idiots! Before we do that, let's go to Hollywood and give a shout out to the man who rules the cool, Mr. Rick Dees. Oh, Hi, Rick. my man, my man, Rick Dees! <laughs> With one of the most recognizable voices on the planet, Rick Dees loves to make people laugh. His astonishing career began at Grimsley High School in Greensboro, North Carolina. I was determined to get my radio license. And after passing a test, the 17-year-old nailed down an early morning Sunday job at local WGBG AM. As a finalist for the prestigious Moorhead Scholarship, Rick entered the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where, as a freshman, he met fellow radio fanatic Ken Lowe. Ken went on to create the Home and Garden Television Network. 300! I could have gotten Rick D's for that! Rick D's and his cast of idiots had a number one hit everywhere. Disco Duck. Then, in April of 1979, Rick received the call all performing artists dream about. It was Hollywood on the line. Dees was offered mornings at the legendary 93 KHJ Los Angeles. KHJ was an AM station, and the world was discovering FM radio. Dees knew it was time for a change. KHJ switched to country music, and Dees switched to FM. K-I-I-S FM. Before you could say Wango Tango, Rick D's in the morning vaulted 102.7 KISS FM to being the most popular radio station in America. Rick D's was now the voice of Los Angeles. This is Rick D's, and if you do want a song played, just get in touch with us right now. Just call the radio station. No D's quickly saw an opportunity, and in 1983, launched what would become the longest-running continuous music countdown program in the world, the Rick D's Weekly Top 40. Rick D's career as a songwriter grew as well, resulting in a series of comedy album releases. He wrote two hits for the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, plus the title song to the Bill Murray Ivan Reitman hit movie, Meatballs. In 1985, Hollywood recognized Rick's achievement in radio by awarding him his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Other accolades followed. Rick was named Billboard Magazine's number one top 40 radio personality in America, an honor he continued to receive for 15 consecutive years. He's received a People's Choice Award, Marconi Award, Grammy nomination, a Grammy Governor's Award, and countless others, including being inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame in 1999. See, you're so wonderful, man. I, oh. wanna, I want your audience to know this. You are so wonderful that it and honest, and you, you really remind me of, 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 of Mr. Carson. Johnny's a different, a different way, don't, don't, you know, it's a different thing. Right. But John, Johnny is an honest man, and, and it's easy to get along with an honest person. It's also easy to get along with a person who's not like this all the time. I don't want you to, it has nothing to do with a lack of intelligence, because you're a very, <laughs> very... Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Dees. Rick Dees. We got Rick Dees back. Rick Dees is back. On moving 93.9, he's back.